Hi, it's Sean. Sorry for that. I'm back again. This is part two of the combining inputs tutorial. The video cut off, so I'm going to have to make this into two parts. So, back where I was before, I was talking about this MATLAB method of doing things. And we were looking at the MATLAB code that was inside that MATLAB block. So, inside this MATLAB block here, all I've got is if u, which is my time, is less than three seconds, I want to be working with 25 as my y value. Otherwise, if u is less than 6, so I'm in that linear region, I want to use this linear function. If I'm not in that, then I'm just going to use a value of my sinusoidal function. So very simple, just an if, else if, and an else command, and you type your functions in, end it. That's all you require to simulate an input. So if you like coding, do it that way. It's not difficult for most people, unless you prefer a graph graphical method. Okay, so to just to sum up, if you want to make multiple inputs, the first step that you want to do is always to draw out your question, write your assumptions first, draw out your question, identify where you want to define your different, um, di sorry, different functions. You could have more than three. You could have a very complicated one that's defined by four or five, for example. That's perfectly fine. After that, make sure that your functions line up, that they join on to the correct points and use something like Wolfram Alpha and your maths knowledge to try and solve for the three or four or five equations that you need. Once you have your equations, you can go into Simulink and you can make your inputs out here. So you can use the first method which I've shown you if you want to go by the traditional method and just use mathematical blocks, pluses, minuses, steps, ramps and functions, that'll work. Or a slightly faster method, which is the one I recommend, is to use switch blocks, which I've shown you just here. That's the second method. Or if the last one you like and you like coding, you, then you should use the MATLAB block, which is the one down here. So that's all there is. Best of luck. Don't forget that you need to show varying inputs for your week 10 model test. So you'll need to choose one of these methods and incorporate it into your model one way or another. Good luck.